Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. We're at CES 2015, and this video is brought to you by ASUS. I'm here at the Sony booth, clearly, because every year it has this gorgeous wraparound colors. And we have seen smartwatches from Sony. The Sony Smartwatch 3 was recently released, and it didn't do well, very well on the internet because it had this plastic band. Everyone called it kind of cheap. And they were disappointed because the specs on this smartwatch were actually really decent. It came with a Snapdragon 400 processor, 512 MB of RAM. Uh, the display is 1.6 inches, 320 by 320, and it's even trans-reflective. So Sony went, oh, you thought the plastic housing was cheap? Well, we can do something about that. So they've come out with this gorgeous stainless steel version. It's matte, it's nice and heavy. It feels really exceptional. Um, the look and profile of it, I think, is quite nice. Uh, you can see that the battery does, you know, drop down a fair bit there. It's a 420 milliampere battery, which should give you about two days. Now, if we flip this over, you can see that Sony's got a clasp here. You just have to squeeze, and then it just pops open. So if you want to change the side, you just have to take some of these out. Now, if we take a look at the back, uh, they've, they've kind of taken off the little flap for us so that you can see the micro USB port for charging. But this is uh, IP68 water and dust proof rated. Now, flipping this around, you can kind of see, oh, I do love this display. Transreflective is always so wonderful. So we can kind of go through all the different modes, into the settings, adjusting brightness. Well, you know, everything that you are kind of familiar with with Android Wear. So there's a bunch of different cards that you can flip through. Um, yeah, it's all pretty standard. You just tap to change, and there you go. Oh, pull down again to show your notifications, and you can slide. I guess you can't slide around. It's just pull down, sorry. Don't spend too much time with these, because as you can see, when you put this on, Android Wear watches are still rather large for the lady's wrist. Now, this is 1.6 inches which technically should fit, but the way the bezel just extends down, if you're wondering how this works for a woman, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, like, I can make some thigh gap jokes, but there's wrist gap here. But we'll just leave that alone, because maybe it's a little late in the show for that kind of dry humor. <laughs> so this was just a kind of quick hands-on, a look around at uh, the Sony Smartwatch 3 in stainless steel. Uh, there are actually some other options for bands. Uh, besides the plastic, if you look down here, there's actually a bunch of different wristbands that you can switch out. There are some leather ones, they have some fabric material ones that are good for running. Um, just, you know, increasing the level of customization is always nice on your wearable device since, well, you have to wear it. I honestly can't wait until they start coming out with watches for women a little bit smaller. Uh, I do like the ASUS uh, Zen watch because it has the curved display, so it almost wraps around my wrist, decreasing that uh, wrist gap there. So, Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks at the Sony booth at CES 2015. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel because why would you want to miss a video like this again? Yeah.